All right, well, given we have not actually uh, defeated a live opponent yet, uh, hopefully we can do better in this one. We won the die roll. We're going to go ahead and play first. This hand is delightfully awkward. We have no mana acceleration. We can't actually even cast anything except for Courser and Denial um, and don't have all of our, our colors are missing. Uh, have all pain lands. I'm going to mulligan this. This is a stronger hand overall. Um, I would certainly like to see some mana acceleration, but it is passable at least. Tranquil Cove, all right, so. All right, well there is a cure that might actually do something. Um, my guess is that my opponent is potentially playing heroic here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just play Foothills, say go. All right, well, we're going to get Crater's Claws on that guy. Um, I kind of want to get... I'm just going to... I know we want to draw... We don't want to draw another land, don't we? No, not really. I'm going to get a mountain now. All right, right on time with that Rattle Claw. We're going to kill this guy. Is clearly playing some other sort of heroic guy. Yep. And Aquius forming it. Okay. Alright, well, um, I have two options here. I can play Corsair and hope to hit a land, or I can play Rattleclaw face down uh, and be guaranteed to be able to play some of the next turn. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna play this. It's more important that. You know, I, I have the, the certainty of, of playing like a Kiora or something next turn. Another Aqueous Form. All right, well, that guy is very much unblockable. And he's also 4 4. And he's going to let my opponent scry multiple times. And there's an ordeal. All right. Well, we are we are in the, the the spot where my opponent is you know going off per se. Uh, if he doesn't have a if he doesn't have a, a God's willing, Kira is actually quite good um, to possibly stop this. And it's you know and it is not an effect that is easily going to be stopped by you know anything else really uh, at this point. So. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try and cure here. Hopefully it works. God, it literally clicked the aqueous form. I click. Oh my God. I despise Magic Online. I mean, that's my fault. That's my fault. I. But what? I'm just. I'm dead. I'm dead. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't notice that he thinks that I, you know, target the right thing. Maybe he'll just, you know, kind of not not attack with his guy because, you know, he's like, oh, he cured it. Even if, it, even if he accidentally misclicked. How does, it, how does it even happen? Whatever, I'm dead. Whatever. I am disgusted. <sighs> All right, well, sideboard-wise, um, I want my removal. 
and I like Destructive Reverie. I'm not a huge fan of the, the other uh, enchantment removal here. Teamer Charm is okay, but not great. It can allow you to use something like Pelucranos or Ashcloud Phoenix to fight. Sagamaller seems like it's it's too expensive. Nissa seems too slow. Um, so at least I just need to cut two cards. My inclination is that I probably want to cut maybe eh, maybe the, maybe just the Teamer Charms. I mean, Teamer Charm is kind of like Savage Punch, but a little bit worse because it's more expensive. Um, and we, if we are working the Savage Punches, these are probably fairly weak. I haven't been I haven't been excited by Teamer Charm in the main deck, by the way. I do think that maybe Teamer Charm or Kiora in the main deck is reasonable, but the two of them are both sort of relatively clunky cards that don't con contribute to their board presence by themselves. Um, and, uh, and yeah, can be, uh, can be a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this setup. Maybe we will uh, <laughs> not prevent the damage dealt by, uh, well, this week Captain Mulligan, we have one land, it's not even a Scry land. Sure, I guess we're keeping this. I can't believe that uh, targeted my opponent's aqueous form. Dude, nice, nice. I mean, granted, there's a very good chance that he just draws a God's Willing and I lose the game anyway, but still. That was just... So uh, here, I mean, one of the things that's, that that is certainly true is that that for this sort of matchup, Kiora is substantially worse uh, in in this deck than it would be in say a uh, a like uh, green black blue deck, like a Sultai deck, because Kiora is, Kiora like plusing Kiora against uh, a heroic deck. When you have like good removal to protect Kiora, like Murderous Cut, is very very different than plusing Kiora in a situation where you know you are just tapping off other monsters. You know, because the 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 synergies between Kiora and you know just having reasonable uh, reasonable removal and th and threats of your own. So we're gonna get a mountain here. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna cast a Kiora. Green, blue. It's sort of what I'm talking about here is that like, you know, this isn't even particularly good because you have to be able to stop both my opponent's guys basically. Like if he just has like double spell, you know, triple spell or whatever on this, or like, you know, whatever, he can just kill Kiora and not having the ability to uh, to protect Kiora with uh, better removal. Maybe I should have, I should be boarding in like anger in this matchup actually. It's not very good against Lagoon, like Trailblazer or whatever, and that, that's another reason that I don't know. Maybe maybe Teamer just isn't good now. Maybe it just matches up too poorly against too many of the things that people are doing. Like it's it's certainly not great in this matchup with this particular configuration. Again, and now let's start the race. I've certainly taken a lot of damage from these lands. Because of this aqueous form, can't actually. Maybe, I, maybe I should be uh, play this first and then plus on this. At that point. Because then Storm Breath can actually protect it. Now that I actually have a Stubborn Denial, that might be the correct play. Although I think I want to be attacking with Storm Breath Dragon. I, I don't just want to be like sitting back and trying to ultimate a Kiora or anything like that, I don't think. Mortals Ardour. 
All right, well, Kira's dead. Is it lifelink? All right. See, I guess this turn, maybe what I should have done is plus here. Well, that's what I'm gonna do this turn. I'm gonna play another Kiora, plus on this guy, or maybe I'm just gonna play a Stormbreath Dragon. And attack my opponent for eight. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Though if my opponent plays a like he probably doesn't have like an ordeal or anything, he would have played an ordeal. So the cards that make sense to be in his hand are like removal spells and like God's willing. So I think it actually makes the most sense for me to play a dragon and just attack. If he had ordeal, he would have played ordeal. If he had you know, rather than Mortar's Ardor. So like the cards that make sense to be in my opponent's hand are things like Stubborn Denial, God's Willing, and like Ajani's Presence. None of which I want to like cast a Kiora into really. I'd rather just play a dragon and attack and put my opponent on a clock when I'm in a situation where I feel like I, I uh, am well equipped to race. You know, I could put it right now, attack me for like four. Uh, but maybe he just has an ordeal now. Yeah, there's an ordeal of Heliod. Speaking of racing. gonna make it harder to race a little bit just a little bit I mean he if he had ordeal of Heliod last turn he would have played ordeal of Heliod instead of playing mortals ardor I imagine so he basically had to have drawn that I guess that's fine all right well now he's at 22 and I take six and go to nine I'm gonna cast this Kiora. Green, blue. You don't deal damage. And I'm gonna attack with one Storm Breath Dragon. Yeah, without without ways to actually support my my Kiora to like kill a guy who he, who he pumps or kill the additional guy, Kiora doesn't really feel like it's that great in this matchup. Like theoretically, it's like oh, you can stop one big guy, but I don't really have great tools. I mean, you know, for for defending other stuff on the ground. I guess if I just had a carry it, it'd be okay. But I never had a carry it in the early turns of this game. Stratus walk on him. I guess that's fine. I have a storm breath dragon, so Stratus walk is going to resolve. My blocker is Storm Breath Dragon, so I'm not really worried about a Stratus Walk. Johnny's presence, so he's going to be indestructible. That's fine. I still have a Storm Breath Dragon. Feet of Resistance, that one I'm going to try and counter. I mean, he could very easily just have Stubborn Denial or another God's Willing effect in hand here. So I'm just going to go ahead and he can't deal damage. And then I don't really want to play a Savage Knuckle Blade because it's going to do a ton of damage to me, but I kind of I kind of feel like I want to play one. I can't even attack into that. Maybe I just play a Karyatid. 
If I want to get to seven mana to be able to monstrous these, I'm just going to play a Karyatid. I guess I'm dead no matter what if he has some sort of, uh, of God's Willing effect at this point. So maybe playing this is totally fine. Because playing this puts me to three life. Any of his creatures get through, I'm going to die regardless. So I'm just going to play it. Do I attack at all? I don't, I don't think I want to attack. No, maybe actually, maybe I actually do attack. I gotta go with one of these, because I have a blocker here, blocker, or blocker here. And again, if he has if he has a a, a, a uh, effect that is a uh, you know, protection from color effect, although now if he has a stratus walk, I would die if he if I attacked there. So I guess I'm not gonna attack. Seems crazy. Maybe maybe actually playing the seven up a little bit of a mistake for that reason. I'm in a position where if I, I, mean, I basically just have to keep plus and cure because I'm dead to this at any point. So maybe I just have to have to put him on a small enough clock that he can't. Um, so if I attack this turn, I put him to 13, and then I monster the dragon. Attack with both dragons doesn't kill him, so I think I actually just hold back because I'm I'm basically just just racing him, drawing a God's willing, and my clock is two storm breath dragon. Uh, is more than you know the Starbuck Dragon hit at this point. Actually, no, two two monster Starbuck Dragon hits doesn't kill him. So maybe I did need to attack. Battlewise Hoplite. Okay. You can't damage me. See, so yeah, I think I actually did need to attack there. Oops. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking this would be more damage. Oh, I actually want to monstrous this like now. Yeah, there's a God's Willing anyway, I'm dead. Well, kills me regardless. So so yeah, I mean Kira Kira just was is fine. It like prevents me from dying. Um, but if my opponent just makes a second monster and I'm not able to pressure him, I mean my draw this game wasn't very good. I didn't do anything in the early turns of the game. If I did something in the early turns of the game, you know, if, I, if my first play wasn't basically just Kiora, um, and I had some sort of board presence uh, when I played it, you know, it could have allowed me to race, and that could have been pretty powerful, but it isn't just like a, you know, oh, I'm just going to win because I have a Kiora. And, yeah, getting attacked, so we're diet. All right, so yeah, haven't haven't really been very impressed with this this particular configuration. It feels like it's you know there's just a lot of clunky things going on, and uh, you know Kiora is is not doesn't have particularly great synergy with the rest of what's going on in the deck um, because you know you don't have great cheap spells to support it and sort of keep it ticking up. I mean, like I sort of had that 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 inkling that that was possible, uh, possibly going to be in the ca be the case, um, but. Uh, you know, certainly it, it's important to playtest and uh, get those sort of results for yourself. So I'm going to jump into one more. Uh, I'm just going to jump into two-player queue because I'm, 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 you know, going to match five or so, and I don't want to just keep spewing uh, spewing tickets in these uh, in these eight-player queues. But we will see how it goes.